Fight fans, here we go. Ed Holmes All-Star Promotions is proud to present four rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Redlands Four. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Sharon Sands. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing red trunks, trimmed in silver. He is training out of Israel Vasquez's Magnifico Gym in Southgate by way of Puebla, Mexico. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record, no wins, with two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Abraham Calderon. His opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing black tram black trunks trimmed in the color of the Mexican flag. He is training out of Wilmington Boxing Club in Wilmington by way of Michoacan, Mexico. He weighed in at 147 pounds. Tonight, he is making his professional debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Edson Garcia. Once again, our referee Well, here we go. Another great fight uh, brought to you by All Star Promotions uh, here at the Western Bonaventure, November 28th. And, you know, it's Battle of the Rising Stars. And, and, and here's another great matchup where we have uh, a guy 0 2 against a guy making his pro debut. And I'm joined here again, ringside, by my, my partners in crime, Juan Galvez and Ricky Parrish. What's going on, guys? Hey, it's good to see you. Should be a great fight. Great fight. Here Two Hispanic go. Mexican fighters. You know there's going to be a war. Yeah, I like this fight a lot. Abraham coming in 0-2, uh, uh, but uh, certainly um, has had some tough losses. He lost his last one at the Belsco Theater in L.A. in July, and he lost to a guy making his debut. Before that, he lost in Fancy Springs in Indio, another tough one. Edson uh, Garcia, on the other hand, comes in for his uh, pro debut. So between the last three or four fighters that these guys have been around, there's only been two or three fights. You know, so they're young and new. The speed at which, at which Garcia's coming in and landing those punches, he's already scraped across Calderon's chest, and now they're up against the ropes. Garcia seems to be a very, very uh, good sportsman here exhibiting good sportsmanlike conduct. Calderon seems to be very, very serious about what he's doing here. Well, yeah, at 0-2, uh, Calderon could certainly use a win. Quick left there by Calderon. Both fighters kind of get a feel for each other. Garcia takes a little trip there, steps back. Answers back with a quick left hook inside. Another quick left hook by Edison. Well, and Edison Garcia, we don't have as much uh, information on, but coming in as a bantamweight, 147 pounds, out of California. Both fighters out of uh, here local in California. Garcia seems to be throwing almost two to one uh, punches over Calderon at this point. Quick, another quick inside hook by Garcia. Calderon doesn't doesn't let up though. He's 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 not he's not giving him any leeway here. There's there's not any any breaks. These guys are throwing a lot of punches. How many punches do you think they're throwing in this round already? <laughs> like, like I said, they leave that to the other people on the other side of the ring. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, you know that's what you see at this weight class. Uh, a lot of punches thrown, and uh, both guys seem. Uh, ooh, it looked like a right may have caught the chin of Calderon. I'm not sure. Yeah, Calderon doesn't doesn't seem to let up though. He's very serious about what he's doing here. You know, he's 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 got now, now there's a there was a quick a quick overhand right. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was a low blow. The referee says no, but he seems to be affected by a low blow here. A little bit of blood coming out of the nose of Calderon. Yeah, that looked like almost one of those that just takes the wind out of you. Yeah. 
Garcia's coming back. He's ready to go. He's serious. He's, he's going to load up now. He's got Calderon on the ropes. Calderon steps away. Garcia comes back. And that's the end of the first round. A little bit of a barrage there at the end for Garcia, taking advantage, I guess, of that, um, that, so, that sort of moment with uh, Calderon being sort of out of his... Uh, The crowd loving it though here and oh, yeah. uh, so a uh, pretty good start for these guys. We'll see what happens in round two. But uh, let's take it over to Juan here for a minute. He's he's shooting pictures. He's ringside. He's he's been around this Ed Holmes boxing before and uh, I think having a good time. You know, yeah, enjoying yourself. Oh, definitely, man. This is great. Two great warriors going at it toe to toe. Beautiful women. Great crowd. What more could you ask for? That's this what I'm definitely saying. Definitely great night and coming by. Three great people next to me. Hopefully there's more nights like this to come. I hear that. Well, it's, it's great to have you here. And uh, when we get a chance, I'd like to hear more about uh, Fino Boxing, who you're, you're here with tonight. Now we're going on to the second round here. Quick left by Calderon. He slips. He slips. Referee acknowledges that was a slip. He smiles. He gets up. Everything's OK. A lot of moisture in that ring right now. Garcia seems to be throwing lefts and rights. Well, Calderon. Garcia, you know, with, with not a lot of, of experience, is really showing a lot of poise here tonight. You know, it's his boxing debut, and Garcia looks pretty strong. Now Calderon seems to be coming back a little bit. Garcia still seems to be the aggressor. Calderon looks like he's doing a little rope a dope off the ro ropes there. He's hitting him with two or three punches to everyone that Calderon throws. I hope he can get through the next three rounds without getting tired. At this point, it looks like, oh, and down he goes. Calderon is down. Yeah, that was more of a direct shot. And he lost his feet as he went down. He's going to he's going to continue. Referee's going to look at him a little bit here. There they're going to go start again. And here comes Garcia. Garcia's ready to load up. Nice hook. Nice hook on the left. Nice left, nice right combination by Calder or by, by Garcia. Garcia has very good balance, stays in the pocket and and kind of ends up winning the exchanges. Now he's got he's got Calderon on the ropes again. He seems to be throwing a barrage once he gets him on the ropes over there. Calderon Ooh. still seems strong though. Yeah, he threw kind of a, a, a weird left uppercut that actually did connect. And now lands with a right. Garcia may have punched himself out. He looks like he's tired. He's going to rest a little bit here now. And that blood just keeps pouring out of uh, Calderon's nose. Yeah, actually a lot of blood here ringside now from Calderon. But but almost re-energized at the same time. That was a, that was an inside shot that Garcia. Did you see? Did you see uh, Calderon double up there? Well, so far Calderon has quite a jaw as well. He's taken some hits, and there's still some power behind his punching. Although he's he's his de his defense is, I guess, starting to waver a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they're both dropping their hands at this point. And this is only the second round. They still got two more rounds to go. I don't know. Do you think this thing could go four rounds? I don't know. Well, they're throwing haymakers. They're trying to hurt each other. <laughs> At this point, yeah, it looks like it looks like they're throwing a lot of a lot of wild shots now. Now Calderon seems to be a little more of a technician. Garcia seems to be a little bit tired. Both fighters are tired from that exchange they had in the first part of the round. That's the end of the second round. Now they're going to go to their corners and rest. Nice. I like that. Both guys look look almost the same right at the end. You know, the very beginning of round two. You know, it just was just, you know, really, really Garcia, Garcia, Garcia. But at the end, even though Calderon took all that abuse, he looked strong at the end, I thought. Yeah, Calderon is showing that, you know what, he's here to fight and he's not going to go down without a fight. So uh, it's a great fight, a great warrior. And uh, now you see uh, Israel Vasquez is giving him some instructions. So let's see uh, how he can go from the next overcoming rounds. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think either one of these guys feel like they've lost yet, and uh, that, that's cool.
Garcia's a corner over there now. They're, they're talking to him. They're getting serious about this. Okay, so we're getting ready to go here. Now we're going to go to the third round. Let's see what these guys have got. I don't know. Do you think they can get through this third round? Well, they needed that break, I can tell you that. Now, uh, you know, round three, always uh, big in a four-round bout. Now they're both coming on strong, both throwing a flurry of punches there. Looks like Calderon's serious. Oh, he just got hit with a right overhand hook. Another, another hook by, by Garcia. Garcia seems to be picking his shots and, and making them count when he hits him. Well, Calderon ought to probably be done. He's taking some shots, he's bleeding, but his energy, his balance is still strong. Oh. Yeah, Garcia's fans are definitely in the audience here. They're, they're cheering him on. And he's serious about what he's doing. He's, he seems to be landing a lot more effective punches than Calderon at this point. Well, Garcia probably winning the fight, but neither fighter seemingly out of it at this point. It looks like it looks like Garcia seems to be be hitting um, a lot more effectively than than Calderon at this point. Calderon seems to be waiting. It looks like he's paced himself a little bit more. And there there goes Garcia with those haymakers a little bit. Now Calderon coming back a little bit. Both fighters seem to be a little bit tired. I, I, I just I, I sensed that in the last round here. Well, yeah, a lot got put out there in round one for sure. It looks like Garcia's got a little more poise. He's, he's got his hands up more. Calderon seems to be dropping his hands a little bit more. He's dropping his guard. And if he doesn't get careful here, he's going to get hit with something and get tagged again like he did with that. Yeah, that he's, a little, he's a little exposed right there. I, I, maybe uh, Garcia didn't have the energy to, you know, get in there, but. I think Garcia's resting at this point. Now Now Calderon's throwing some punches, but he's not hitting anything. Garcia moves. As soon as Calderon goes to execute, Garcia moves out of the way. I'll tell Both. you, though, uh, Calderon's got some heart. Yep. I mean, he, he's sort of taken the worst of, of this night so far, and he's, he's still standing there. Both fighters seem to be exhausted at this point, and, and it looks like they're just kind of pacing themselves, trying to get some, some second wind here. Another another shot by Garcia. He's he seems to be hitting very effectively throwing the lefts and the rights. Calderon's hands are down so it's, it's a kind of an easy target. Yeah Garcia finally actually sort of sticking the jab out there. Uh, he's against the ropes right now but he started to actually kind of just go to sort of a traditional stance and just I think if he can just do that he could win this fight. I think that at this point it, it's. It's, it, it looks like they're just trying to get through this round. Now now Garcia seems to be putting on a little more steam. He's got his hands up. Calderon looks tired. He looks really exhausted at this point. Both fighters are, are standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're not really moving too much. Another quick, quick left uppercut by, by Garcia. Yeah, so uh, again, it's amazing. But Calderon seemingly able to just take the shots look at Calderon he's still he's still there though he's still there but he's kind of throwing his punches wild at this point I don't know if that's because he's tired or just because the, the other ones are being effective now that's the end of that round let's see what happens here one more round to go both these guys look really tired of well, the two yeah. though of the two though Garcia seems to be a little more intact he thinks he I, I think he's gonna he's gonna come on in this last round and, and just pour on the steam yeah, from down here, his footwork, his footwork's still there. He's got a little better balance, you know. Absolutely. Probably landing two to one, maybe, you know, punch ratios. I just sort of keep thinking for some reason that Calderon could still land a punch if he's able to find that moment. But as of now, that's what he's going to have to do. Otherwise, uh... well, I think I think at this point, Garcia's got to got to keep his hands up. Because, like you said, if, if if Calderon comes in and throws one good punch, it's gonna it's gonna take the steam right out of Garcia. So both fighters are on their feet; they're ready to go. Referee brings them to the to the middle. They tap gloves. Good sportsmanship here. They're gonna go one more round. Yeah, I love to go. see that. Uh, Look at the speed now. Look at that. He's, he's throwing some some combinations. Both guys seem to like they, they really want this, and and they're really gonna try their hardest. They're gonna fight their hearts out here. Well, you know, and, and some of it's mental. You know, Calderon, he's been on the ground twice. He's, he got sort of tripped up once. You know, he, he's a little more beat up, so mentally he may be feeling a little behind. So if he's able to dig deep, you never know. Here comes that crowd. They're cheering for Garcia. That's his people. And it looks like he's, he's just throwing combinations. He's really landing those combinations effectively. Um, at this point, Calderon's trying to come back. He's got him on the ropes. 
He's throwing combinations, but it's not really doing anything. He's not making much effectiveness with those techniques. He's, he's tiring himself out. I mean, he, at this point, he looks really tired. He's still keeping his hands up, though. Garcia seems to be pacing himself. Maybe he's going to have a, a strong finish. I don't know. What do you think? Well, the one thing about Calderon is he's not in necessarily a defensive posture yet. He's he's maybe more tired, but he's still trying to find that, you know, down in his gut or, you know, that, you know, reach deep. He's lobbing those, lobbing those haymakers at this point, though. Doesn't, they're not too effective because at this point, when he throws them, Garcia's just stepping back and they're, and they're not hitting anywhere. Now Garcia's putting on the steam. Well, one thing about Garcia, his, his, his balance stays center. And even on the ropes, he doesn't really give up his position. He still looks very, very clear. Yeah. His hands are tired, though. I think I think Garcia's punched himself out a little bit here, too. Blood coming out of the nose of Calderon at this point. Well, this is it. Bottom of the fourth here. Garcia's crowd's cheering him on. He needs to really lay it on here. I think he's, he's, he's got some good, good hooks. Oh, and then look at that. Car Calderon came back with something. He hit him right in the chest. Now he's coming with an overhand right and the, lobbing him in there. Yeah, Calderon landed a Calderon nice. Calderon just threw another one and hit him. He landed a nice left, then a combo. I mean, I, I guess that's what I was saying earlier. He's not just totally, oh, big connection, though, he for stepped Garcia. And he, he dropped his hands at that point right there, and, and Garcia took full advantage of that. At this point, Calderon looks really tired. Yeah, he's he's still scoring points, but it's not with the same vigor. Garcia is very sharp at this point for the fourth round, the end of the fight. Garcia lands another one. He's dropping his hands though, and then and at the end, Calderon answers. Now Calderon's coming over top. He seems to be connecting. Yeah, he hit a right, then caught that left. You know, I mean, he's definitely still engaged in the fight. 10 seconds, y'all. And here comes Calderon. See if he can tie him up and maybe get a shot in. It doesn't look much, much is going to end up at this, the end of this fight here. And that's the end of the fight. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. Very nice job from both fighters on that one. Calderon coming out at 0-2. Really, really fought a great fight. You know, he... He maybe even won at least one or two of those four rounds, I'm not sure. But Garcia, at the end of the day, making an impressive pro debut. Very impressive as, a, as his first fight out here. Well, and, and one of the things I always notice is balance in a fighter. You know, when, when they keep their balance through the fight, the longer they're able to do that, it seems like they gain, you know, the advantage. Their legs are stronger. They, they hold their position. Their punches become more effective. But I don't know. It was a pretty fun fight to watch. That's for sure. We had blood and sweat flying. And the uh, crowd's electricity was just amazing on this fight. I, by the way, look, somebody was going to get dropped. These guys showed tremendous heart, stood it out toe-to-toe -to -toe all four rounds, and gave the fans exactly what they paid for. Absolutely. I agree. Uh, that's what's so fun about watching these, you know, these rising, you know, these guys that are new to the sport and trying to, you know, That's really cool, Calderon. He's, you know, he's there. He's, he never really got, you know, knocked out or hurt real bad, but he just didn't get the best of, of the night. There comes Ed Holmes, all-star boxing. He's a smile on his face. I don't know if we can get a wide shot of our crew here, if James is even paying attention back there, but we got a second. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll go up to we'll go up to ringside now. Jim Fitzgerald. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, we go to our scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at ringside, Zachary Young scores about 40 to 35, while both judges ringside, Barry Drucksman and Alejandro Rochin, score about 39 to 36 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision. Garcia! Well, I think that's what we uh, that's what we saw here. Yep. Garcia definitely had the the he took control of the second half of the fight and he was throwing a whole lot more punches. 
Well, and that's going to make Garcia a happy man. You can see here he's got his hands up, and he starts out with a perfect record, 1-0 in his pro debut, and takes down a tough guy. We'll be back. <laughs> 